Hey there, so today we have another review and this is courtesy of LIC Beer Project, thank you so much. This is El Torno, a Mexican style lager with Pils Malt, taco corn shells or whatever that is, and then sauce hops, so let's dig into that. Beer comes in a light gold color, light haze on there, let's get the aroma. Maybe a little bit of corn, definitely uh, familiar lager qualities, nice and clean, a little bit of that uh, traditional uh, noble hopping. So that the grain comes in as well. A touch of like hay. It smells nice. And then the hops drive in a little bit. A little bit of like orange zest, lemon zest, grassiness. Cheers. Mm, that's nice. Um, a nice smack of corn sweetness up front. Honestly, that sort of reminds me of something like uh, Miller High Life or something like that. Not quite there, but it has a nice touch of corny flavor to it. Nice and dry, but the hops actually drive in uh, noticeably. But not very noticeably. Understated, if anything. Yeah, understated. A little bit of mint, a little bit of nice citrusy quality in there. This is one of the most macro tasting craft beers I've had in a while. And I don't know, is that a compliment? It can be both a compliment and also a negative. Compliment is that obviously um, Budweiser, Mill and Coors, they do high quality beer that they do. At, at their batch size and consistency, they're very technical and they produce a singular product, just like the McDonald's you get from here a mile away to a hundred miles away is pretty spot on whereas brews probably have a hard time doing that so it's highly technical product um, as for flavor profile um, and cost you're paying four dollars for this can versus not too far off you're gonna get a miller product miller high life which is one of my favorites yeah it's a little bit more dry uh, the corn flavor is actually a little, still actually quite prevalent, but it's certainly a different beer from them, but this wouldn't be far off if you gave this to me to be determined as some kind of macro lager that, you know, I mean, yeah, for sure. Give this to me a blind. I could never tell it was a craft beer. I would definitely assume it was a macro lager and I can close. So um, whether that's a compliment or a negative, I don't know. As for rating, I do enjoy these beers. I do enjoy the macro beers here and there. This is a great example of that. And it's where the ratings sort of go crazy because I do enjoy these beers and I do drink them. But if I want to give you my honest rating of like, oh, wow, this is something you need to seek out or quality of a beer. It's macro lager. This is Mexican style lager. 77. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.